Good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kayla and I are leaving our quaint little town of Millville. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're heading out of Pittsburgh to go to Texas. We're Texas bound, and by the time you've seen this video, we're already halfway through our adventure. But I thought just for a fun little weekends video for Saturday, I'd do some vlogging along our travels today and uh, just have a little bit of fun. So we're looking forward to going back to Texas, celebrating Christmas with your family, Kayla. Yes. And uh, going to Bucky's, going getting Whataburger, <laughs> having all the Texas fun, going to HEB, going to Central Market. I cannot wait. And also, I apologize. I'm kind of off camera, but that's because um, I feel like I look really bad because I was so excited last night that I didn't get a full night's sleep and I look like I'm hungover. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we're just really excited. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning right now and it's nice because technically I should be clocking in at work and here I am hitting the road and my boss even said have a good time. So uh, I'm looking forward to all the videos that we're going to film for you guys along the way and Boy, it's going to be a blowout of a week and obviously we're going to be safe and uh yeah make sure we take every precaution to keep ourselves yeah. safe and her family as well yeah. so and not just my family but the safety of others as mm -hmm. well so but hopefully you'll enjoy this i know i haven't even finished my texas videos from our trip back in may i still have like two or three i think i have to get through <laughs> <laughs> so uh I just kind of put them on the back burner because I've been doing all Christmas videos for December here with a couple of other videos sprinkled in there. So anyway, enjoy the ride. We'll see you in Texas or wherever we check in next. <laughs> <laughs> not too far from Cincinnati we had to stop and get gas already because we didn't leave on a full tank from Pittsburgh but the fact that we got almost to Cincinnati in the Z it's pretty good so and we're at Flying J and they have Christmas music just blaring out here it is so loud <laughs>
like this, guys. There's a 18 wheeler flipped on its side. That One, is so. Oh, it looks like he struck the bridge, maybe. Oh. Look at the damage there. Oh. That looks like the result of a fire. Holy cow. By the way, shout out to my friends over at Tilted Tripod Media, who's in the car in front of us. Wow, that truck got hurt. It burned down, that's what happened. <laughs> us waiting on that time zone change, like. It's... Come on already. We've been in the car forever. <laughs> and it doesn't help that my visor is down, but the sun is in a position where like, I can't even. I know, it doesn't even like help you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just waiting on that time zone change and I'll feel like we're almost there. <laughs> but we're still not at all. We're still like nine hours away. Oh, we're even further than that. <laughs> we're still like 10, 10, 11. Heck, I don't even know. I lost track. <laughs> well, I missed the sign as I was trying to get the camera on. I couldn't get it because of these trucks in front of me. Because you know, we got to have 500 trucks here. But we finally made it to the central time zone. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! <laughs> Even though my phone still says it's like 4.38. It usually okay. updates in. Oh, now I'm doing 3.38. Nice. Nice, guys. Can you see that? I'm like 3.38. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, yeah. 3.38. <laughs> I know. I was so determined to get the shot of the sign on here, but I literally couldn't see it because it's just a whole barrage of trucks. So as soon as it it was visible, I was already on top of it. And I couldn't get the camera rolling fast enough. Oh man, I needed to stretch my legs for a little bit. We're at this rest stop on Interstate 65 here. We're near Bowling Green, Kentucky, and it's pretty nice out here, pretty scenic. It's not Bowling Green, Bowling Purple. I know, so there's a lot of states with a Bowling Green in it. There's a Bowling Green in Virginia that I go near when I'm on my way to the Outer Banks, too. Bowling Green, Ohio? <laughs> yeah, there's Bowling Green, Ohio, too, here. I'm sure those aren't the only three. I think there's one in Pennsylvania, too. I don't like Bowling Green. I like Bowling Yellow black and yellow i'm not even gonna go there <laughs> but yeah we just figured we'd come by here and stretch out our legs for a moment <laughs> you do that better than i can <laughs> oh well needed to get a drink and uh i think we'll hit the road here in just a second again <laughs> This is a fancy rest stop. You got the visitor center in there basically with the restrooms. And then down over there you have your vending machines, which are outside, which I can't imagine this time of year. Like when it actually gets cold, you gotta be freezing just to get a soda. The sodas are probably frozen. <laughs> it's actually super nice and clean on the inside. Yeah, it seems like it is. Boy, that's a loud truck. <laughs> Look, there's a truck towing a truck. <laughs> Ever pet a kangaroo? <laughs> I want to go there so I could do that. I'd love to pet a kangaroo. <laughs> Fill up number two. We have to do this four times each direction. And what's funny is, I stopped at this same exact speedway the last time we went to Texas in May, and I got gas here. And you know how I remember that? is because if this wasn't familiar enough already, this place right across the street that has an IGA in it also has a Schlotsky sandwich shop in there, and that's where Kayla got a sandwich last time. And I remembered this, this setting here with all these other businesses around. So without even thinking, we just happened to stop at the exact same place to get gas again. That's too weird. <laughs>
Buck snore. <laughs> Welcome to Buck snore. That has got to be the most ridiculous name for a town I've ever heard. Welcome to the town of Buck snore, Tennessee. There's I'm, literally nothing going on in this town except for Sunoco. And an adult store. <laughs> I wasn't going to say that on camera. Oh, you got to be honest with everybody. <laughs> We're probably saying it wrong too, but I don't care. That, Oops, that's snort. Buxner. That's probably how they say it, but the way it looks on the sign, just it's hilarious. Are you kidding me? Judging by the type of like, judging by the type of town, if you even want to call that a town, even though it's probably just an adult store and gas station, they definitely call Buxner. Oh, they're definitely Buxner in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's like silent and it's like Boo Snore or something. Oh like, gosh. Maybe they want to be fancy with it. They have like a silent T on the end. Boo Snore. <laughs> Boo Snore. I, I don't know. Oh my I'm gosh. Gonna, I'm going to stop here because I just make myself sound more and more ridiculous. It's okay. We're getting loopy. We're two hours from Memphis. I've been driving for nearly 12 hours already today. <laughs> But we've had a great time. And, you know, obviously that 12 hours has consisted of a few breaks, us eating dinner. And uh, we had breakfast this morning, but it's been a heck of a run. And the goal is to get to Memphis, but if I get too tired, I'm going to call it a night early. But, boy, these open Tennessee highways like this are just wonderful, especially at night. I love night driving. Holy crap. We made it to Memphis. <laughs> Wally a round of applause for doing that drive because I I don't think I could drive that far. So props to you, Wally. This is only the third time I'm driving down to Texas <laughs> in the last two years. <laughs> oh man, I am glad to be here so we can finally call it a night. Yay! Oh. <laughs> fun, fun. But I am tired, tired. <laughs> well, on a positive note, we've got the hard part down. And we only got 500 more miles to go. And fun fact, um, we just passed the St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. Kmart actually has a building somewhere on the property. On the property. Yeah, Kmart has a building in the vicinity called the Kmart. I don't quote me on this, but I believe it's called like the Kmart Life Center. I believe that's what it is. Yeah. There's the Big Bass Pro Shops pyramid there on our right. Oh, uh, yeah. We're going to circle back around tomorrow, so you'll be able to see this in the daytime. That's what it is on our right as we pass it. And this bridge that I'm about to go to... Whoop. That guy didn't know where he's going. The bridge that we're about to go on here takes us into Arkansas, and that's actually where I'm going to stay is on the Arkansas side, because there's some hotels right on the other side of the Mississippi River here. Dang, that, that pyramid is huge. Yeah, I can't wait to show it to everybody tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to, my dad likes Bass Pro Shops, Cabela's, all that kind of stuff, so we figured we'll stop in there and get dad a present or something. Just... Just think of a little over a month ago, or two months ago rather, maybe, Nate was driving Goliath right across the same bridge. <laughs> there we are, baby, Arkansas. Dang, that was fast. <laughs> or should I say Arkansas? Arkansas. <laughs> Actually, fun fact, when I was learning how to like, when I was learning in school about the states when I was little, I would always call Arkansas, Arkansas, and I did that until I was like six or seven years old. My mom would be like, honey, it's Arkansas, not Arkansas, but it's spelled like Kansas. It's Arkansas. <laughs> 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 oh boy, yeah, we're definitely tired because we're very loopy and even the silliest thing is making us laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Whew, now that was a drive. <laughs> You're telling me. We still have seven hours to go tomorrow, and we're actually going to be stopping back in Memphis at the Bass Pro Shops Pyramid. I, I really want to see that place, so we're going to go back into Tennessee to check that out, because right now we're staying overnight here in West Memphis, 
Arkansas. <laughs> but I mean, we got a really nice hotel. I just love the pictures on the walls, like above the beds, like that one there. And if you see it, the waterfall one there. That waterfall is like my favorite. I love that. It's just so cozy. And I'll tell you what, when we checked in at the hotel here, the gentleman running the desk was super nice. And then we ran over to the Love's Travel Center across the street to grab a couple of snacks for the night. And the lady there that rung us up, super nice. People in the South are so nice. I wish more people were like that up North because I come across way too many rude people up North. Not saying everybody is, but too many are. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, we hope you enjoyed this little vlog from our first day. And when you're seeing this video, we're going to be well on our way into Texas and DFW, and we'll have another little vlog tomorrow. So, hope you enjoyed the ride and the little silliness of us getting tired and loopy. <laughs> we'll talk to you tomorrow, everybody. Have a great Saturday. Take care. Stay awesome. Have a Kmart-licious, Arkansas-licious day. And we'll see you soon. Bye, everybody. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.